Alright, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone of whom we've learned this 100% truth and who rule very well and oversees the tabernacle of David. Shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the Ak Chazak, whom we teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina, and you brethren and sisters who are diligent. We say Shalom. This is the Ak Alaya. And this is the Ak Yashima. And we're here with a, a quick, you know, um, public service announcement. <laughs> a quick, you know, lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimel Shai. You know, in these last days for the edification of the elect, all right? With, when I say the elect, I'm speaking in reference of the chosen Israelites, and you Israelites being the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? This lesson and public service announcement is for you, all right? And as you can see by the title, being, you are not a real man, right? You are not a real man unless you're a man of the Lord, right? And uh, the Lord gave me this topic, I, I, I really want to say roughly about, you know, two weeks now, uh, I was dwelling on, on this topic and I mentioned it to some of the brothers that uh, the Lord had had on my heart to do a lesson like this. And um, just been dwelling on it, gathering certain precepts and matter of fact, certain uh, things that I wanted to bring out to edify. Very true through the spirit, man. You're not a real man unless you're a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, a man that's been, you know, converted, changed from the image and ways of this world to, to be a true upright standing man for the Lord, man. You know, because, you know, un until, or should I say, or, yeah, until you come into this truth, you're, you're not encouraged to, to be a true man. A lot of a lot of this, uh, people in this world and the mentalities of this world will say, you know, a real man is a man who, you he know, get, get, yeah, got, like what I'm about to say, that guy got his money, you know. A real man is, is someone that, you know, probably, you know, ain't shit or a bitch ass nigga. That's, that's a real nigga. Yeah, he got to be a thug. Yeah. <laughs> got to be on some type of drugs, you know, or selling drugs, you know, some, some, something folly, man. You know, he's got to be uh, womanized. He got to beat on women, you know, right. something, you know, something that is off. This world is, is it, it upholds it as that's what makes you a real man. Like, like when we were watching Drewski yesterday, and three Zions, we like hood. hood. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Um, I ain't gonna say the whole thing, but they're like, we like that hood, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. Look, the private members, man. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's all they know. Yeah, if you can bust me down, good. Yeah, that's yeah, how you're, you're a real, real man. nigga. Yeah. yeah you, don't eat, you don't eat ass. You, you yeah, know, really. facts. Yeah. Once again, all the things that this world upholds is really folly, man. That's not the, the standard in which the Heavenly Father has set to determine what a real man is, you know, and this even, yeah, this is chiefly to the Israelites, but this even really applies to these other nations as well, man. That's why it makes sense why the Edomite men, their natural moles, right. effeminate, because they don't, they don't even know what a, what a true man looks like, because the Israelites are supposed to represent it, man. And, and then the Israelites right now are fumbling the bag, man. They fumbling the ball as a whole, right? The Lord is only putting the Holy Spirit within chosen vessels to to represent adequately what a man looks like as Yahweh is the chief man right and the scriptures say he is a man of war right the mentality that he has is very uh, austere and very stern very direct very clear right but <laughs> the, the the images and likenesses of men that we see in earth today are very wishy-washy they're very self-willed they're uh um emotionally driven right they're, they're not led by wisdom knowledge and understanding right they're driven by you know whatever whatever is put in front of them whatever they think it, it is more important or whatever their desire chases after they that's what they go for and that's not sound and wisdom and sound and judgment so long story short i know that was kind of a mouthful the point being is if you are a simp right we're going to get uh, some of these words that we're using if you're a simp right what this world deems a simp you are not a man of Yahweh Bashem Shai, neither can you be, right? Because once again, even when you read various precepts, whenever the Lord has manifested himself unto his servants, the prophets, he always used verbiage or the mentality such as gird up thy loins Ooh, as a man. You, you, you want to manifest as our spirit had me say that now, we can. And manifest. 
that Jake's is carrying, man. That's the mentality that the black woman, even the spirit of the damn black woman, ha has crept into the seed of the Israelites, <laughs> the Israelite men, and now like, they're being formed and fashioned after the woman's likeness, man. And like I said, we're gonna get this word uh, simp and simpleton, but let's. Uh, what you got? Uh, I, I, I kind of wanted to go. Okay, yeah. So, Since I said that, let's pull it up. Let's go get them words. Right? Okay, so this is the word sent. And shalom to all the beloved, you know, uh, brothers. Akiyam uh, wa that's tuning in live on the comment board. Shalom wa the water for your precepts. We're going to get to them, you know, through the spirit. But this is the word sent, right? As a noun, it says the 1903 circus slang shortened of simpleton. So it basically tells you that the, the term simp that's commonly used today as, as a simp, or, or should I say a bitch ass nigga uh, It comes from the word simpleton Right so when you look up the word simpleton It's a noun It says a person of limited Or feeble intelligence <laughs> A person Of limited or Feeble intelligence So you're weak minded right? You, you, you don't have any strength when it comes to To sound judgment When it comes to making a wise Decisions right the scriptures say In, in another place you know, do nothing without uh, advice or um, I'm probably butchering the verse. Uh, but basically, you should seek counsel before you make a decision. Men don't do that nowadays, especially the so-called black man. He thinks that he has it all figured out, even though he was raised by a single mother, man. Exactly. You know, starting, they starting to think with their emotions now. They exactly. starting to be like Eve. That's right, man. And Eve's starting to be the man. Eve wearing the pants and Jake wearing the fucking skirt, man. Yep. Yep. What you got over there? Oh, oh, oh you can read it. Um, okay. The what the sent me? Yeah, so, cause this is the uh, unbrand dictionary. Pretty much the unbrand dictionary, uh, meaning it like, like you know, how Jake talking slang. If you type uh, the word in the little, uh, the little search, search bar. bar. Yeah, so you just type in the slang word that Jake used. It'll tell you what that means. Okay. Slang word okay, bet. Yeah, I see. It says slang dictionary. So it says, "What does scent mean?" All right, y'all see it on the screen, but I'm gonna pull it back so I can read it. All right, so it says, "What does scent mean?" Simp is a slang insult for men who are seen as too attentive and submissive to women. Ooh, right? It says, especially out of a failed hope of winning some entitled sexual attention or activity from them. Mm. I just want to sim, right? <laughs> what you got, brother? Oh, no, I ain't, I was just... that, that's beautiful, though. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. As it literally said, a simp is a slang insult for men who are seen as too attentive and submissive to women. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. The Lord the Lord is not looking for you men who are who are pussified, man. Who who are like like the brother said before the video started, pussy whip, man. Yeah, pussy whip. The, the Lord is not looking for men like that. Neither can he use men like that. The scriptures even tell you, you know, prophetically that the men of the Lord, the true men of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, and certain times in the times we're living in now, they would be as if they had no women. They had no wives, man. What does that mean? They couldn't have been uh, submissive to their women. They couldn't have been too attentive to their women because it's like they're not even dealing with their women because their mind is elsewhere. Their mind is, is, is contemplating things of the Lord, right? Things in the spirit, right? Which is where we've been called to gather in the spirit as the things that are about to take place in the earth are judgments from a spiritual power, from a spiritual God. How can you begin to serve a spiritual God if you're emotionally led? If you led by your small head and not your big one, man, you know? Cause you got men that, that literally think that the box is all, uh, that's all, is the only, it's the only prize for a man out here. It and it's not, man, it's the other way around, man. The men are the prize for the women, man. You know? <laughs> this was, I'm glad you uh, put it up, brother. That was beautiful. Uh, but I want to get that scripture now that, that uh, uh, roughly paraphrased. My girl that Lewis. Yeah, girl that Lewis. Grab it real quick. Job 38 3. Thor. Alright, so this is the book of Job, chapter 38, and verse 3. It says, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I would demand of thee and answer thou me. Right? That's what the Spirit of the Lord told Job, right? Mm -hmm. Gird up thy loins like a man. So that's the type of mentality the Heavenly Father demands of his servants, man. You got to show yourself a man, right? And what does that mean? Not not constantly, you know, bowing down to women as they're not literally, even though some of you men do that as well. It, it means like, you know, running to your woman at every 
fucking call, man, or whatever, you know, at the drop of a dime, whatever she needs. Oh, well, you need to stop doing that or, or lead the men of the Lord, lead the brothers. Right. You know, stop doing what you're doing because I need, my, I need my feet rubbed. Right. What you doing? You know, you know, it, it, it's folly, man. And once again, you have, and I'm not saying you can't, you know, show affection towards your woman. Obviously, you know, we, we love women and you got to deal with them accordingly, but you know, there comes a line. Ball, yeah, yeah, there comes a line where you gotta, you gotta separate, you know, what you are and what you're not going to do for a woman because otherwise it's gonna run all over you they're gonna demand of you what what it what is to be given when it's supposed to be the other way around the woman is supposed to be a help meet to the man a servant to the man matter of fact that's the other uh scripture i had pulled i'm gonna grab that real quick uh ecclesiasticus chapter 36 and verse 24 it says he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession right that means she belongs to you she's yours you tell her how you want her to be right not the other way around. she doesn't demand what what she wants from you no man then but once again knowing that america is ran by the woman it, it's the vibration of america is a feminine you know a female energy the, the so-called the black woman is god all this is promoted here so of course the women are, are going to have those thoughts at times but it's up to the man to rebuke those spirits, man. You know, to, to call the spirits out and be like, hell nah, I ain't going for that bullshit. You can you can take that folly on somewhere else, but, but it's not going to go on here, man. And until until that's in, instilled in your mind, hey, the Lord can't use you. Neither does he really want you. You know, I got to put that out, out and about in the first place because, yeah, we're getting converted in these last days. Yeah, we're being healed from transgressions and and allowed return back to you how by Shemi was shy, but once again at the same time the lord is not looking for men that he knows he cannot use you know the only thing you're going to be good for is causing confusion and a, wa a waste of your own time because you're still going to be destroyed man you know and you brothers are lighting the, the comment board up man call all y'all by shot sure. beautiful presets um if you didn't have nothing i'll read some of these uh yeah yeah i got one okay uh ezekiel uh, uh where are we at? 24 15 and 16. You read about it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. This, this is, is basically going into Ezekiel and his wife when his wife died. Right? Ezekiel went sipping and, you know, heartbroken and, you know, uh, pussy fired that his wife died. No, he moved on. We're yeah. going to read the account. Which verse? Uh, 15. This is Ezekiel chapter 24 and verse 15. It says, Also the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke yet neither shall thou mourn nor weep neither shall thy tears run down mm. <laughs> it says forbear to cry make no mourning for the dead bind the tire of thy head upon thee and put on thy shoes upon thy feet and cover not thy lips and eat not the bread of men so i spake unto the people in the morning and at even my wife died and I did in the morning as I was commanded. Mm, you see that the Lord said, I'm going to take the desire of your eyes, which was the woman, his woman, his real or whatnot. And the, way the Lord said, guess what? I'm going to kill your wife. And guess what? You better continue to do my will at the end of the damn day. That That's being a man, a, a true man of the Lord. Although his wife might die, you know, we, we'll probably be a little heartbroken because we in the flesh. Don't yeah. get it wrong, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we still gonna continue to do the will. We ain't gonna, you know, bitch out and stop doing the will because the Lord took our wife yeah. or the Lord just took anything from us, like your family, your, you know, your mom, your dad, somebody you close to. Hey, yeah. we still gotta be, we still gotta be a man of the Lord. We still gotta gird up our loins like a man. Like yeah. we read earlier in Job, man. Yeah. No matter what happened, you still gotta be a man at the end of the day, man. Yeah. Although it may hurt, it may fuck with you mentally, but hey, man, you still gotta. You still got to continue to uh, keep going and keep pushing, man. Yeah. The will, of, the will of the Lord got to continue to be performed no matter what, man. Hey, yeah. Like the Lord Yahweh Shai said, what? You got to be willing to forsake all. houses. Yeah, ultimately all. But he even specified because, you know, for the, for the niggas in the back, A, B, C. Right? The Lord Yahweh Shai gave the criteria of what all includes, right? <laughs> your, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your wife, your daughter. Your, your son, you know, your, your family, you got to be willing to lose everything that you thought was near and dear and precious unto you. And yeah, of course, it sounds easier said than done. But at the same time, this is is, is the, the course that the Heavenly Father has set up for his men to endure, man. You know, these are the adversities, the hellish trials that, that we've been conditioned to go through with faith. 
So once again, if you if you're not willing to lose those things, pack the pack the fucking Bible up now, take the garment off, and and leave, man. Because the truth is, it's not gonna get any easier. This is once again the condition of the battle. This is what we've been prepared for to endure. So you got to you got to know that, man. And not everybody will lose those precious things in the same way or in the same way that, you know, they won't lose them. You know, every brother's lot is different, but yet still, are you willing to lose them for your whole bash me on Shah's name sake? Right? And I, and I just seen I didn't finish that verse. So I'm going to finish it real quick and we continue on. Ecclesiasticus. Oh. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Chapter 36 and verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. So your wife, your woman, is supposed to be an outlet for you to, for peace, man. And a help me. Not something to hinder you, which is what they have become on this side. A hindrance, a stumbling block, you know. <laughs> the uh, shadow of death, even, you know. <laughs> exactly. You, you, gotta, you gotta know that the, the original intent for a woman is not even what the woman is being on this side. So really, do you even want that? You know, because it's a better pill, man. There's plenty of brothers that have been in this truth for years that 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 ha are still in it now and brothers that have fallen out for for a woman. You know, men that are, are still in the truth now that still have women that they're dealing with, enduring with. And yet and still they still understand that, hey, this is not easy. But guess what? If it came down to it, I bet every one of those brothers would be willing to lose their woman for the Lord, man. Every single one of them. You know, think about uh, a lot, man, leaving yeah. Sodom and, and, and Gomorrah when it was raining down fire and brimstone. His, his wife turned into a pillar of salt. You think he had time to stop, go back to her, have his last moments, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I never got to tell you how much I really loved you. No, man. He had to keep on going, else he would have ended up just as destroyed as she was, man. You know, so you got to have that mentality. We are serving the God that we serve is a man of war, man. <laughs> he, he requires his servants to be men. You can't be a simp, you know, simpleton. Be a nigga, man. You yeah, know, yeah. And another thing, too, like you said, the Lord is a man of war. Yeah, right? That's right, man. Ain't we supposed to be the Lord's army? Battle axes? Yep. You think we're supposed to be weak? We're supposed to be man just like I hear, man. Yep. We're supposed to come in the same spirit as Yahweh Bashi man. Yeah. If we're going to be a man of war. Yeah, and it starts in the mentality. It starts in the mindset. How you carry yourself. You know, uh, how you allow people to treat you. Because once again, yeah, yeah, we're the servants of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh And yeah, we are to be humble, you know, and meek and lowly and not proud. But we also aren't pushovers, or like like the head of the camp says, we're not no damn choir boys, man. You know, we're not just gonna let you treat us any kind of way. Uh, uh, no man of the Lord, any scripture that you read in the Bible, no man of the Lord just let anybody treat them any kind of way. Even when uh, David was getting cursed out by that that uh, that other uh, dude, he was mad. He was like, "You done shed so much blood. You a wicked man." Thank you, Benjamin. Mike. I'm not mistaken. Kind, right? And, and what did David say? He said, let the man do it because look, this is the spirit of the Lord on him. David still was thinking about the Lord. He wasn't thinking about, no, oh, but he is hurting my feelings. I don't like what he's saying, you know. I do got something again. No, man, he took it as a man because he understood that, you, you know, things going to be said that's offensive. Things are going to be done that's offensive. But we're not here to, you know, to cause offenses or to be offended. Yahweh I said, blessed is he who is not offended in me because offenses will come. So you gotta learn how to roll with the punches, like a man. Gird up your loins and take that, take that hit, and keep on going. Yeah, Dish out some more. Better, man. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Scriptures say even what a righteous man falling seven times but get it up again. Yeah. A real man is gonna keep getting up, man. A simpleton is gonna be like, oh, but I got hit though. I'm supposed to stay down, right? Right. <laughs> no, man. You know, once again, that's why the Lord can't use y'all, man. I want to get this too, because as, as I pulled the word simp, which comes from the word simpleton, I also pulled up the word effeminate. And we're going to get that word effeminate in the scriptures as well, because the scriptures use the word effeminate, and it condemns effeminate men, right? Yeah. So this is e the word effeminate as an adjective in the late 14th century. It means womanish. It says voluptuous and tender, right? So tender, soft men. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the Lord can't use a soft man because why? Matter of fact, you know, and that's exactly once again the vibration that America pushes that you should be a gentleman, you know, soft to the touch, you know, 
delicate. Right. Like, when, when has the Lord ever dealt with delicate men? Never. You know, the scriptures, even when you read the Psalms, David said, look, the Lord, uh, he what, prepares my hands to fight, my fingers to war, loosely paraphrasing. That's the spirit David said the Lord putting on me. So, so how are you a man of the same mind if, if you aren't like-minded? You thinking, no, nah, you shouldn't talk to your women like that, man. No, no, don't, don't sell her. She beneath you. Y'all supposed to be equal. You supposed to let her, you know, uh, tell her what, what, how she want things every now and then. No, man. The woman was created for the man, not the other way around. And it's crazy that you have to sit now in 2024. It's crazy that we still have to sit and have these conversations. But the Lord is, is doing it once again because you niggas that are simps think that y'all can just slide on by as if the Lord is dealing with you. And, and he's not, man. You're only fooling yourself. All right? All right. So let's get this scripture. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. As a matter of fact, before I, before I get to this, I want, I want to read this. God just seen it. Uh, 1 Ezra chapter 4 and verse 26. It says, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Right? <laughs> you got men out here that's changing the natural use of what a man is supposed to be. And they, they turn themselves into women. They're, they're now making themselves the women's servants, right? Which when you even deal with the word woman, it, it basically breaks down when you go to it. Matter of fact, I can pull it up right here. On the etymology app, it shows you that when you look up a, a woman, it means a female servant, right? Let me see. I say woman, it, it might be, uh, no, yeah, here we go. Yeah, woman right here as a noun. It says an adult female human, but it also goes, as you see, and it says, uh, let me highlight it. It says a, a woman, a female servant, right? Here you go, right here. A female servant, man. So the woman, the natural use of a woman is to serve her husband. Before she has a husband, it's to serve her father, right? As is her duty is always to the man. So you got to understand, that's the true role in the position for a woman. It's to, to be a servant, to do what she's commanded, what she's told to do by her head. Not the other way around. You got women out here running men, and even men who are claiming to be a part of this truth. Claiming, claiming to say, you know, yeah, the Lord dealing with me. You know, yeah, you know, I'm on a level. You know, <laughs> I'm a part of the elect. You got men saying such things in their mind, but yet and still, they serving a damn woman. That's completely out of order, man. It says in verse 17, I mean 27, first Edges 4 and 27, many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. You know, and we have uh, King Solomon as a beautiful testimony of that, man. The dangers of pleasing the woman, man. The dangers. Because King Solomon, look, he had the luxury of even having more than one woman. So he really didn't have to sin. <laughs> he didn't have to sin. But he ended up simping to please the woman. He became a servant to the woman. And what did that cause him? Sin and error. You know? So we got to understand that we are not to be as such. That's why we have the scriptures as examples. As, you know, lights in the darkness. How, as guides and, and instructions on what to do to be a real man and it all centers around men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the criteria. That's what's needed. You gotta be serving the Lord. He's gonna be the one to uphold and establish you and the tenets and the mind frame to be an actual man, you know? What you got on? Uh, like like you said too, you know, uh those testimonies were written for us. That's why the scriptures say you know, roughly paraphrase, that's why the scriptures say uh, the scriptures are written for our learning, man. Yep. So we can go back and read those accounts and know how to deal with it. You yep. know, know how to deal with not simping, man. Most brothers don't know how to stop simping, man. So go back and read those accounts and look at it spiritually. Why the Lord told them not to do it. That's right. And you will see why the Lord, you know, uh, uh, you will see why the Lord, you know, pretty much had man not simp because of certain reasons. Like King Solomon's example, it brought forth him what? Death. Because King Solomon wasn't no wicked man until he started, you know what I'm saying, dealing with multiple women. And that's another reason, too, why you shouldn't have more than one woman on this side, man. Yeah. Because this is going to bug you the fuck out. Yeah. Trying to balance them and truth and your own life in, in the world. And I say in the world as we live in amongst the world, that's tough. 
And it's a burden I would wish on no brother, you know? <laughs> But then again, you know, if that's your lust, you know, the Apostle Paul goes into it's better to marry than to burn. So, of course, you know, but you got to realize what you're setting yourself for, up for, man. You know, a, a life of hell. <laughs> um, this is the beloved brother, Chazak Banyahawada, Shalom. Uh, he commented Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse 12. He says, woe be to fearful hearts. And faint hands, right? That, that faint hands, you know, is also is really going into slack, you know, not really doing the, the will of the Lord fully. But it got me thinking of uh, soft to the touch it's as well. Right. Faint hand, you know, uh, you it's too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, too, no man. it's too hard. With the female jobs. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Get dirty. Yep, exactly. You got you got men like that. They're not ready to get dirty. You got to be willing to get dirty in this truth, which means, hey, gird up your lawn, yeah, uh, tighten your britches. Cause we about to walk through some shit, yeah, right? right? You, you gotta, you gotta be, have your shit ready. Uh, 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 salt to the touch, man. I'm gonna be like, Ugh, it's yeah, dirty, you know. Dirty, yeah, I gotta man. wash my hand. The pretty boy. Yeah, the pretty boy the spirit. Pretty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's beautiful. The pretty boy spirit, man. That's a damn demon, you know. It says, "Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways." Right? Because you can't be a simp and a man of the Lord. <laughs> How the hell you claim to be in truth? You know what's required of you, yet. You, you, you're still letting a woman run all over you. you still uh, letting a woman call you up any hour of the day, no matter what you got going on, say, hey, I need this, this, and this, because I don't feel like working. So you, you're just gonna take care of me while she busting down who knows who. Because she's not in your house. You don't know what she's doing. The scriptures say, you know, give not thy daughter liberty to go get a bride, because you know the mentality of a, a free woman, quote unquote, is a whorish spirit. So think about how much more your wife, when she knows how uh how it feels to be sexually pleased right she she's used to having them feelings you know or wh what's the, the word they use in the world i mean the words they use in the world uh they hit that spot you know uh, the, the they scratch spot. that itch you know spot. yeah yeah see they they know what it feel like to have that itch scratch so what makes you think if you're not doing it somebody else won't be you know so you gotta think man think about these things jay you can't be a man of the lord and a simp because if, you, if you're a simp, you're not paying attention to sound judgment, sound counsel, wisdom. You're not, you can't be. Because then you know you're supposed to be running your woman, not the woman running you. Which, you know, is, is a situation that, that has happened, you know, in the past. You know, I, I pray, you know, the Lord doesn't have this spirit on anybody that's, that's watching now or anybody that's uh, a part of a camp or anybody that claims to be a man of the Lord because you, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. This video, this lesson right now, this public service announcement is to pull that card, man, to expose you. You are not a man of the Lord, you know. And if you if you are caught and you you know you, you had that mentality and spirit on you, you better fast, pray, and repent, man, that the Lord take that spirit off of you, because surely destruction is nigh at hand. All right? It says the brother commented verse thirteen as well. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted. For he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended, right? So, because you don't really trust in the words of the Lord, you can't believe that destruction is really coming because then you would have prepared yourself adequately. You would have hearkened unto that wisdom and formed yourself as a man, shooed yourself as a man, as a good soldier, right? Going back to that spirit and the mentality of a warrior, right? A warrior is not at war on the battlefield, chopping off heads and arms, thinking about, oh, did I leave out the biscuits on the counter for my wife? I know that's her favorite snack that I No, he gonna get his damn head chopped off trying to pause and think. No, you gotta be focused on the battle, focused on the warfare that you're in. You can't be worried about, oh damn, did I run the bath water before I left? I know, I know she like to have the bubble bath going, you know. No, Jay. <laughs> All right, so uh, same brother. Uh, Ecle oh no, Job chapter 40. Oh no, he dropped the preset for us, the water. We read that Job 40 and 7. Gird up thy loins now like a man. I would demand of thee and declare thou unto me. Right? Same brother. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Going back to how that's the mentality that Esau Edom pushes here. The women is the head. They have the power. Right? They even got, um, even though that uh, Sleepy Joe is in the, in, the, in the office, is in the chair. He got he got that bitch uh, Kamala on his right hand. That's the folliest thing you could ever see for a kingdom is to have a woman as the advisor. Yeah, exactly. the, the woman is who you go to for sound sound counsel and wisdom. Or when when he's out, you put her in the seat. Exactly. 
this it's play, out of order. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out of order. And matter of fact, I think when Kamali did step in the seat for that a little bit of time, however it was, the other nations was laughing. Yeah, they were like, yeah, yeah, look at how, you know, we, this, this country's got, and they got a damn woman Very in the seat. Joke. Yeah, exactly. They look at this place as, as if it's a joke. And it really is, man. Any, any man knows the woman has no idea what the hell's going on. And at the, and at the slightest sign of a of, of pushback, she, she might just open her legs just to, to have a, a little bit of peace, man. <laughs> you know, so nothing's really going to get done with having a woman be your head. You know, besides more death and destruction. This is Ecclesiasticus 27 and 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Hey, that's beautiful. You got something you want to say on that? Yeah, read that again. Kind. Ecclesiastes 27 and 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall be soon overthrown. Shall, shall soon be overthrown. Read, go ahead, read that top part again. Bobby. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. So you got to hold yourself diligently in the faith, in the fear of the Lord, man. So you're not fearing the Lord. You're not a man of the Lord. Yeah. It, uh, a true man of the Lord is going to fear their power, yeah. first and foremost. And like you said, the house part, you read yeah. the house part again. And it says, his house shall soon be overthrown. Kind of, his house shall soon be overthrown. It, it, you know, it's really talking about yourself, but it also could be talking about your actual household as well. Yeah. You know, so if you're not fearing your house by Shia Basha, Yah Basha Basha gonna overthrow you and your household, man. Yep. Yeah. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying, man up and fear your house by Shia Basha and do what you gotta do. Cause not, hey, that's ball game for you, bro. The Lord gonna get rid of your ass because you a simp. Yeah. You're not doing what you need to be doing, man. Yeah. With a set mentality, your judgment is able to be clouded, man. Which, once again, true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, our judgment is not clouded. We see clearly the, the ways of righteousness and the ways of wickedness. It's clear. It's plain before the righteous, as the scriptures say, man. As the, as, as the Lord's ways are plain before the righteous, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. A, a simple-ass nigga will hear this and be like, man, y'all just... Y'all just hating on women, man. You know, women, uh, what, what did you say yesterday we was watching? He said, I don't disrespect women oh, out here. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't disrespect yeah, women yeah. over here. And all Jake said was, come on, man. I, uh, I, uh, you got me, you got Juicy waiting on me or something like that. He told his woman to hurry up. That's all he said to him. Right. right? And just also, no, nah, we don't disrespect women over and here. Then his woman went over to Juicy. And immediately his woman went over to Juicy and told him something. Well, shit, I like, I, I fuck with men like you. Something like that, you know? So right then and there, boom, the spirit of whoredom. The Lord manifested her spirit right then and there. And where was Jake? He disappeared. Yeah, he just disappeared. That's simp That's energy, simple. man. You know, simp, you just gonna let your woman <laughs> walk off from you to deal with another man that you know? Right there in your face. Jake, right there in your face, you know. You can't say you didn't know, man. You know, you, you got caught in 4K. We know you know. <laughs> but the point is, man, you know, once again, the men of your how men of your how about Shemel Shai have clear judgment. We see exactly what's required of us. A simp, his judgment is clouded, man. And it and it's clouded due to the woman, what what needs she has. Right? Brother Jock, the same precepts as I grabbed, first Ezra's 4, 26 and 27, the water. He also draw Ecclesiasticus 19 and 2. It says, wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Woo, but that's fire, huh? It says, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent, right? I'm going to grab that word impudent. Because as it says, wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, right? Because we have been given wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's through the scriptures. We have it here. And we have beautiful elders, beautiful spirits the Lord set up above us. To, to, to even highlight and emphasize and bring out more wisdom upon these scriptures, man, from their own life experiences and from, just, you know, the spirit even dealing with them. So there's no excuse. There's no reason to why, you know, <laughs> you have no idea what's required of you uh, of being a man of the Lord, man. It, it's only for you to say you, you don't know what's required of you or you didn't know that you were simping. It just proves that you, you're not taking this truth seriously, man. You're not serving the Lord in sincerity and in truth. Because from the gate, from the gate, man, once you realize how Israel was chosen, how the, how the, blessings, and the blessings and the promises were poured upon us, you see the Lord has never been playing with us. Yeah. You see how strict and how, how, how stern and serious he's always been. So how can you come into the truth and not know what a simp looks like? You know, it's the complete opposite of what we've been called to be. All right, and this is that word impudent. All right, 
it says as an adjective impudent goes into without shame shameless right and that, that's really the point on that man you know a lot of you Israelites you don't you don't even care how you're viewed by the woman as long as they're happy you know like, like they like to say in the world happy wife happy life man that's a damn lie man your, your woman can be happy one moment and then piss off the next moment is, is that your fault no is, is your life hell now probably because that's, that's your woman but the, the world is not centered around a woman man the world like like what's his name say i don't know why his name just slipped my head this is a man's world right oh, james brown james brown the water brother this is a man's, man's world, world man you know i remember hearing that song as a child and it just resonated with me like man he know what he's talking about right. you know i just knew that was a good song as a child man didn't know too much about what a, a real man was at that time but i knew them words were, were, were sweet to the ear. That sounds about right. He probably got canceled. He said that shit today. Oh, yeah. He said that shit now. He's definitely getting canceled. What do you mean? Matter of fact, what is a man? Right. right. What, you got to explain that. A man is not defined by what's in between his legs. And, you know, technically, it starts there, but it, it, it doesn't stop there, man. You're not just a man because of what's in between your legs. You're a man based upon how you deal with what's in between your legs. Are you just out here willy-nilly? Matter of fact, like the scripture said, uh, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. Are you shameless now? Because now since you got a ride, you a real man. So now you're a man based upon how many women you don't slept with. Well, take this into account. Yeah, how was shy when he came? He didn't lay with a woman. Right. <laughs> was he not a real man? According to the world, obviously not. Well, according to the Heavenly Father, he's the only man that the Heavenly Father acknowledges in the earth. You know, so it takes a spiritual mind. To, to, to see the standard of which the Heavenly Father has set for his servants, his men, his sons to be like. Because once again, the flock of the Lord's pasture are his men. Mm -hmm. The Lord is dealing with his sons, right? Yasha Allah, the princes of the power, the sons of God, not the daughters. The daughters come from us, right? So you got to see that. The Lord is dealing with us on a, on a different level. He's not even dealing with the rest of these other male creatures out here. Damn sure not the Edomite, the so-called white man. Like I said, he's the basis of men according to the scriptures. He knows how to pervert judgment. He knows how to twist up the script. He knows how to make you think a man is a woman and a woman is a man. So that's why you can't follow after him. You can't take his counsel. You're going to get destroyed as you see the, the, the black man's image so-called, you know, is today. Because Judah's supposed to be the head tribe of Israel. Judah's the main chief tribe showing you how to go off, man. Literally. I can't tell you how many moles how many uh niggas with long blonde dreadlocks um uh niggas with a bunch of tattoos and shit all over their face oh, and piercings, and, and piercings yeah wearing man bags which is really purses or walking in high heels and got dresses on man you know all, all this effeminate weak shit that's what's been upheld for for an israelite man to go after and israel just eating it up man that's why you once again man you niggas got to be destroyed and the lord is not dealing with y'all y'all are not going to be saved uh this is uh dms in his likeness shalom beloved big brother uh the big brother damawathia this is proverbs 31 and 3 give not thy strength unto women nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings so you see that that's a simp you're gonna give over your strength unto the woman hey baby I just got paid today, but here, you can go in and have my check. You know, whatever whatever you need, just take from that. Whatever left over, I'll just see what I can, if I can just make it work for this week. Right, right. Hopefully, I can get on through. Matter of fact, you can go ahead and pay all your bills with it, too. I can pay my bills, too. Later. Yeah, man, see? <laughs> but that's a scent mentality, man. You got niggas out here that, that literally operate like that. They can't do, they can't make a decision without asking a woman first. Well, hey, baby, well, what you want to do? You know, well, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. I thought the same thing. I'm going to listen to you. You got it. You you know what's right for the both of us. Right. No, man. <laughs> you niggas got to be put down, man. Got to. It's the, the woman ain't supposed to have no authority over the financials, right? What you do with your, your hard-earned working money. Yeah, of course, you're going to take care of your woman and your children if you have. But at the end of the day, they are your possessions, right? You are to rule over them with wisdom, sound judgment. You give over that power unto them, once again, that's the same way that kings have been destroyed, man. Great Solomon nations. Exactly. <laughs> Say it again, brother. King Solomon was that example. He is, man. King Solomon, which is the son of David, man. One of the chief, chiefest sons of David, even. And David was a real man. 
David, the scripture said David was a man after the Lord's own heart. So of course, you know, David carried himself as a man, even though he fell short, he went on as, as well for, for women. But yet still, we they still showed us the guidelines, guidelines on how to pick ourselves back up and what standard we should, should hold, even though our flesh does get weak sometimes, you know? You still gotta go back to that standard. That's the standards that the standard that we're uh, to keep, no matter what, man. Once again, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the order. That's the ordinance. It says, "Oh, the brother Kazak by Yahweh, Jeremiah thirty-one and twenty-two. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A man, a woman, shall compass a man. Right. So that's how far." The Israelites have backslidden, have gone backwards, have refused instruction and wisdom. They've gone so far backwards to now a woman has surpassed the, the man. Now the woman is the head. Now, now she's the one that gives the instructions. Now she's the one that raises the kids, right? Now she got to be, you know, due to, you know, yeah, Esau, you know, his, his hand and, and furthering the curses with, you know, Jim Crow and what was the, Willie um, the Willie Lynch letter. Yeah, these are the products of of oppression and slavery we can't deny that but at the same time our people feed into it man y'all y'all don't fight against it y'all don't try to stop it y'all feed into it as if it, as if we're just supposed to accept it this is us now hell no man we've been sent here to be chastised for our iniquities not to live in them not to thrive in them and to continue to multiply them you got to realize what the hell is going on right now is sick it's wicked and it's disgusting and the lord hates it flee from it even man turn away from it Hate the thing which is evil and love that which is good. Else, the Lord is going to come and destroy you, man. It's really that simple. And this doesn't even have to be a, a really long lesson, you know, a really long public service announcement. Because either you are a simp or you're not. <laughs> I believe the head said that a few days ago while we were talking about it, man. He said, because look, either you are a simp or you're not. It's really that simple. If you are a simp, you're not going to change. It, the Lord has that spirit really within you to condemn you. Because all his men, all his sons, his servants, who he's actually dealing with, they don't have that spirit. Neither can they have that spirit, right? We've been commanded. We we are, we already know. Ooh, one four four. Call y'all bunch my shot. We already know that that we're sent to a rebellious, stiff-necked, hard-headed people who they're they're gonna buck up against everything we say anyway. So you already know you gotta come with a, a hard mind. You gotta come with a, with a with a, a straight, direct energy, not something that can be um change or altered or, or misled or swayed by a tear oh why well, you're hurting my feelings you never talk i've never had anybody talk to me like this before like i did i did a, a lesson a couple days ago entitled you women uh need to shut the fuck up that was the title right of course it was abbreviated but i had a zion comment and said dang you didn't have to say it like that and i i didn't i didn't really get on it i said uh, because in the context of the video, it was about women teaching the scriptures, which this particular Zion, she, Zion I'm dealing with, she understands you ain't supposed to be teaching, but she still felt some type of way about the words that I use. And I said, look, it, it, the words, I chose to say it like that on purpose because that's what y'all need to hear. Shut the fuck up, right? But you you tell a simple Jake that he, he can talk to his woman like that, he gonna tell you, oh, hell no, nah, you going off. Right. I would never talk to my woman like that. She's my equal. This is my rib. I got down on my knee for this woman, you know. <laughs> and once again, that that goes out too, as we mentioned, uh, bowing down to the woman. Y'all, yeah. y'all do that uh, with these uh, marriage ceremonies and practices. Esau Edom puts out here. Uh, bound, you bound. gotta, you gotta buy that wedding ring. You you gotta get down on one knee. You gotta beg her. Will you please? Will you marry me? It's not even how it was done in the old world. You seen a woman that you wanted to bust down, and 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 either, hey, some men courted. Some, some men were burning so much in their lust, they just took a, you know, ravished her, you know, <laughs> had his way with her, and then went and uh, took care of the the legal thing, so to speak, you know, with the fathers, the parents, whatever. It got situated, you know, but at the end of the day, there was no man getting down and begging a woman for no box. Please. Give Come on, box. Please, please. Just open the quiver for my arrow. Right. They know. <laughs> that was not getting done. If anything, the women, that's the women mentality. Oh, you know, I'm just a thirsty traveler. I'm just tired. I right. need somewhere to stay. Can you just and you know she go first thing she go off well. I am not married. I have no husband. I have no man. So they go. That's the first thing they go to. So what? What makes that you? Once again, going back to that word effeminate. You're womanish. The first thing you, you the first thing you think of is the damn box. <laughs> you, 
you, you can't you can't get your own mentality in order for for how how your household can thrive. You no, know, this needs to happen and this needs to happen and this can happen. So then, boom! Now I can have a, a happy marriage and I can be happy with my possessions. No, first thing you think of, I gotta please my woman so I can get that box. Cause without that box, I just can't function right. You know, I, I get crazy if I get if I don't get that box before I leave the house. And that's off. That's out of order anyway, too. Cause you can't be you're not supposed to be unclean every single day. Right. Yeah, you can't you can't do the the, the will of the Lord adequately if you unclean, man. You know. So uh, let's get through some of these scriptures. Like like I said, man, uh, the water for the priestess, you brothers, is on fire, man. It says, uh, Second Ezra, same brother, Kazak by Yahweh, Second Ezra fourteen and thirteen. Now therefore, set thine house in order. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. You gotta set your house in order, man. You do that through the Holy Spirit, the Rachakwadash, which is what the Heavenly Father gifts unto His sons, whom He desires to make men. Right? They deal with order. They deal with the the instructions that the Heavenly Father has given them to follow. As as what as the Lord told Jer Job, gird up now thy loins as a man, and I will de uh, demand of thee, and you answer. The Lord was very clear and direct with what He required of His men. Right? It says, "Now therefore set thine house in order, and reprove thy people." Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption, right? Get get that rebellious spirit off you. Get that weak, soft spirit off you and be a man, right? Put the Heavenly Father first, <laughs> his son second, yourself third, and your women last, and your children beneath them, right? Because truly their, their role is supposed to be to tend to the children at your commandment. How do you want your children to be raised? What do you want your children to in, in, indulge in? And yes, once again, we understand in captivity, you may not have that luxury all the way as it's supposed to be in righteousness, which is why question yourself. Do I really want to be in, in this fucked up situation? You know, because women nowadays, they have many more demons on them than they did then. You know, the, the women now are, are a lot are a lot more destroyed mentally than they were back then, you know? So you got to keep that in mind, you know? You got something you want to say, brother? No, nah, I ain't, no. Nah. All right. Uh, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Put off that pussified spirit, man. You know, because, yeah, you know, Jake, man, I can even speak for myself. We, you know, we love our mamas, you know, the, the whole mama boy spirit. Yeah, we, we have love for our mothers, but we don't allow them to, to run and govern our lives. Yeah. You no, know, we, we, we don't bow down a knee for them either. You know, we have a, a certain level of respect as the scriptures have commanded us to. But yet still, if my mom commanded me today, I'm your mother. I don't want you to be in this truth. You're not going to talk to me like that. What do y'all should I tell his, his mom? He said, woman. Did, did, did thou not I'm know about my, about my father's business? business? Yeah. <laughs> he said, woman, look, I got a, a job. to, I got a role and a lot to fulfill. To hell what you got going on. <laughs> That's the same mentality we, we ought to have and that we do have, man. You know? So, we, you, once again, the woman is not running anything over here. Shit, Jake said that shit to his mom of the day. He can his ass. Yeah, Jake getting slapped. <laughs> yeah. But going to show you the women don't know order, man. They don't know because else. Because what, what it... Uh, Yahweh Shai's mom replied after he said that. Not a damn thing. Yeah, she definitely did. She didn't say a damn thing. And Joseph was going to get on her ass if he did. If right. Because he, he was in order. He understood. Uh, even at Yahweh Shai's age, he was becoming a man. He was of, of, of uh, the age of a man. So it was his time to gird up his loins and be about his father's business. So, yeah, if you're 12 years and up, which majority of the brothers that, that tune into these videos get edified and that are teaching, Y'all, you know, over, well over 12, right? So what excuse do you have, right? What excuse do you have besides we in captivity? We all in captivity. The Lord still is putting his Holy Spirit on his chosen vessels, man. So make it make sense. First Corinthians, same brother, first Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Yeah, this world would, would have... Plenty to say about this scripture. Right. That's sexist. That 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 that's where did that come from? A man wrote that. You're you're just um that's toxic masculinity you're trying to impose. Man, no. Y'all y'all can say, like the scripture said, they're gonna say all manner of evil wickedness against you falsely, you know, but we're still set up to still uphold the same standard. We understand that men are who call the shots and not just any man. 
You have to be a man of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai, as the scriptures say, the earth is going to be given into the hand of the meek. Those, those servants, those souls that the Lord is actually dealing with, he's going to give judgment into their hands because they understand judgment. They understand it's not about no damn woman. Yes, we're going to get women. Yes, we love women. Yes, we're going to bust down several women in the kingdom. <laughs> More than we can count, you know. But at the end of the day, this truth is not uh, to please the woman, you know. It's to please the Heavenly Father, which then in return pleases his men. Hey, right? I'm glad I thought about this, too. It is one woman you're supposed to simp over, and that's Sophia. Ooh. Wisdom. That's going to confound Jake right there. Wisdom. The, the first, thy first love. Should be Sophia, man, right? Which, is, like the brother said, is it goes back to to wisdom, man. That's where you get the word sophisticated from, right? Sophia, back to wisdom, right? So when you dwell with wisdom, for the heavenly Father loveth none but them that dwell with wisdom. When you dwell with wisdom, you understand the fear of the Lord. You understand the order. You understand that the Lord is dealing with men, right? And Yahweh Himself is a man of even war, right? So you got to be a warrior in this thing. Fuck the feelings. Fuck the emotions, man. This is same brother, Genesis 2 and 18. And the Lord, then the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Right. And that was going into the women. That was going into the order and the role that the woman's uh, part would be to be a help meet, a pillar of rest. Right. Aid, you know, not no, not a damn commanding general. Right. <laughs> not a damn president. Right. None of that. Not a God even. Right. Even when you deal with the spiritual powers that the, the Lord is going to pour upon the elect. The women ain't getting no goddamn, you know, power where they can start lifting up tanks too. they can, they can start, uh, you know, uh, leaping over. Or, uh, you know, they're going to have spiritual power, but they're not going to be super human. Like we talk about how the elect men are going to be, man. They're going to be able to live forever and they're going to be in peace <laughs> and they're going to have their beauty back. But spiritual power, that don't even go to them. Why? Because the Lord set that up for his men, his warriors, his soldiers, right? Shalom, uh, the beloved big brother, uh, G. Mascabar Adama. Shalom, he said, Khan, forsake every damn thing. And that's right. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got to have that mentality. You want to say something else? No, nah, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you got to forsake all, man. You can't be simping over fucking pussy, man. And yeah. like I even said in the camp, before we even started camp, uh, two weeks ago, when we were talking about that simple shit, I was saying, I was telling the brother, man, pussy really overrated, man. It's really not even all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, really overrated. J is. And Jay be killing over this shit, man. Like, yeah. It's, it, 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 it's due to the media, too. Social media. Everywhere you go, no matter what you turn on, some bitch shaking her ass. You know, some bitch got on a, a ton of makeup. Some, some girl got a long-ass wig on. Right. All the things that are supposed to look naturally beautiful to a man, they... they they go overboard with it. BBLs, cutting off stomach fat to stuff it in their back. Right. That's not attractive, man. That's actually sick. I know that's ass fat I'm looking at. I mean, that's, that's stomach fat I'm looking at. But, you know, they, they had it surgically removed and put it in their back just to make something clap a little bit more, man. It's, it's off, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, Jake like, you know, some 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 weight back, there's some clap back, but not, not out of order, man. We don't like, contrary to popular belief, a real man loves natural things, man. Things that the Lord naturally gives. We don't like unnatural things. And until you women get in line with that and understand, you will never begin to please us. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is why the Lord is going to do away with all y'all reprobates. He's going to melt you. That's what he promised, man. You're good for nothing. Vanity. Right? Because Ecclesiasticus 18 and 20, before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, Thou shalt find mercy, right? Are you truly uh, obeying and walking in the, the law, statutes, and commandments in the spirit as we've been commanded to? Because else you wouldn't be a doormat. El else you wouldn't be getting walked all over as if you ain't shit. You know, yeah, we're going to be treated like shit from people who don't understand what it is we're a part of. But that has nothing to do with how you deal with your relationships. Right. Right. That's completely by choice. So if you're allowing a woman to have that power over you, once again, you need to examine yourself because the day of visitation, you're going to want mercy. But except you're a servant of your help, you're not going to get it. All right. Uh, verse 30, uh, Ecclesiasticus 20 and 32. Necessary patience and seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Right. Going back to how important instructions are. Right. Ecclesiasticus 4 and 28. 
Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So that's what we're doing, man. Making ourselves living sacrifices, saying the things that aren't aren't comely to hear, right? Even if our parents, you know, watch this, they'll probably have two words to say against it, but to hell with it. You know, we don't do it to be liked. We don't do it to get even applauded on the back. Good job. Yeah. And we don't even do it for that, man. We do it because we understand sound just <laughs> the license plate says con with three n's jay <laughs> that's tough but you know we do it because for one we've been commanded to and then for two because we love it the, 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 the way the lord set out for a man to live a prosperous life it's it's a beautiful thing man and you know for the lord to actually make good on his promise and bring the kingdom of heaven to the earth so that way we can actually enjoy these things man what else could you want you know a, a woman to be in her rightful order and her right beauty, smelling good, looking good, being obedient, shutting the fuck up, but yet and still saying all the right things, right. you know, how, how beautiful is that going to be in this order? And once again, you're not going to have that on this side. And for the brothers that may have something similar, all praise to that, man. The Lord gave you a beautiful thing on this side. But for brothers that's maybe new coming into the truth, don't expect that, man. Yes, it's a beautiful thing if it comes, but don't come in with that mentality of, oh, I'm about to just get all the righteous women, you know, I'm a handsome young brother. Right. I got breakdowns. I know the scriptures, you know, they're going to fuck with me. I got the drip. I got the salt. Right. No, man, don't come in with that mentality. Like, matter of fact, that's that Sakar mentality, you know. You, yeah, we got Hebrews and Hellcats over here, you know. Come get your uh and your stick for camp. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's just weird. Come get your stick for camp. No, none yeah, of that, man. see my new stick I got? Yeah. yeah. That's, not, that's not a real man of the Lord, man. It's not a real man of the Lord. And anyone that's telling you that that is, once again, they're deceived. They're lost themselves. They're without a guy, right? It says, their brother got uh, Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord, Yahweh, is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh, is his name, right? And when you get that word war, I did have it pulled up earlier. Uh, let me see. I, b I believe it goes simply into warrior, but I'm going to pull it up again just to, to edify. So, yeah, when you get that word war in the Hebrew, it's Strong's H4421, right? And I believe the word is pronounced malahama, malahama, right? The root word being laham, right? Which the outline of biblical usage for the word uh, malahama means... And generally, war, warfare, battle, to fight, to be a warrior, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all can't really see that, but in a strong definition, that's what it goes into, right? Generally. So you got to have a warrior mentality as the God that we serve and that he's, that he's putting his spirit within us. He's a warrior. And a warrior does not simp for women. A warrior will, will go out and risk his life for his household, of course, for a fact, to protect what he loves and holds dear. But yet still, a warrior is not going to be like, nah. Well, I, I'm too weak to fight today. So, woman, put on my helmet, put on, take up my shield, take up my sword, and go fight. Because that's what a saint would do. Let the woman fight all his battles. Let the woman give, be his commanding general, right? Let the woman take the blunt of all the blows. No, man. That's the man's job, all right? It says, uh, John 6 and 63, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So you see that? It's the Holy Spirit that ultimately is going to communicate all these things to you. The Rechach Wadash, right? That's what the Lord uses to manifest himself, to manifest his will unto his servants. So you're not going to get this ultimately if, unless the Lord is dealing with you, unless you're really one of his servants, right? Unless you are truly a part of that brotherhood, that 144, right? That 144,000. And then the men, women and children that, the, that follow and believe that same gospel and testimony, you're not going to get it, man. And you're fooling yourself once again if you think you are a man of the Lord. Because the spirit is quick. You're going to know, oh, I am a sin. Or, no, I'm not a sin. Right. <laughs> You're going to know. <laughs> Psalms 144 and 1 says, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. That's the mentality the spirit of the Lord puts on his servants. Mm -hmm. How to fight. How to go to war. How to be a warrior. Right? How to endure. <laughs> how to suffer with a wicked woman, right? That's the, the mentality the Lord puts on his men, the, the mentality of endurance, right? How to suffer wicked things. But a simp 
he's he's gonna fold and crack and crumble at the first obstacle at the first you know um adversary at the first enemy man and believe it or not that really starts with the men of the lord man we're, we're the first adversaries to you because we calling you out on your bullshit we exposing you for who you are so we're gonna be the main ones you you uh um feel is responsible for why you are the way you are well, since since they oh you, like like they say in the world oh you think you better than me right. <laughs> oh, oh so 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 you think you better than me so now now we automatically your enemy because we uh tell you the truth, truth. yeah have I become an enemy because I tell, I tell you, you the truth that's exactly what what happens man the brother GMS and his light and his coming is simping ain't never an option and that's right man it's really it's really a simple point man it's really simple right uh the same brother Chazak by Yahweh John four and twenty three. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. That's right. That's it. Ain't no simp amongst it, man. Eight, prom, uh, Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You got that? You see that? Ain't, ain't nobody, ain't nothing here. On this side, giving you sound wisdom, sound instruction, sound judgment. Especially not the goddamn TV, right? Not TikTok, <laughs> not uh, Netflix, not Hulu, not Disney Plus. They ain't got it, man. You know, and I, and YouTube barely has it. Yeah, we, YouTube is a major platform we use to push the truth, but it's only like one percent of what YouTube is used for. <laughs> you know, so you you got you got to know that. And then then again, that that one percent that the truth takes up. Only 0.1% is actually sincere men exactly. that the Lord is actually dealing with. You know, so it's not, it's not, um, the truth is not easily accessible to those who the Lord is not dealing with, man. You know, once again, as righteousness is plain unto the, those, uh, unto the men of the Lord, they are stumbling blocks unto the wicked, you know. Uh, same brother, Ecclesiasticus 23 and 17, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. You see that? So he can't be pleased, man. A whoremonger is just going to keep doing what What he doing, what pleases his little head, man. Right? Which we've had men literally say that. I was just thinking with my little head. You can't do that in this truth, man. It's going to get you destroyed. You, you, you're willing to cast off judgment. You don't know who this woman is dealing with. You know? <laughs> it's just a lot that goes into that, man. The Lord can easily bring a judgment. Easily. And you're just going to carelessly... You know, just 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 do as you please. Yeah, I know she's still dealing with this man. I know this man probably ain't even over her yet, but she want to fuck with me now. You know, she says she's single now. She want to fuck with me, so let me just bust her down. Shit, and I ain't going off. She ain't dealing with her. Jay, you wicked as fuck, Jay. You wicked as fuck. And once again, <laughs> the Lord has judgment set up for men who aren't thinking spiritually, man, who aren't truly uh, seeking his mercy, man. Because we all, believe it or not, we all are worthy of judgment right now as we speak. There's uh, there's things that the Lord can bring up from our past that we probably don't forgot that the Lord is justified and righteous in punishing us for. Yet, you know, he chooses to delight in mercy. So why would you come into this truth, understanding that mercy, just to turn around and be a simp? Just to turn around and, and, and cast off that instruction as, well, I heard that, but I think I'm cool where I'm at. I, I, I've been getting pussy uh, up until now. You know, what will make you think I'm going to stop? Right. You know, it was working for me then. What made you think it, gonna it's, it's gonna it's not gonna work for me now? And you, once again, you you misled, man. You you're deceived and destroyed. Cause once again, the Lord just ain't dealing with you, brother. My people are scrub for lack of knowledge, man. That's it. That's it. All right, Shalom. Hey, the uh, big brother GMS, no excuses. Shalom, brother. Uh, he said, my camp folks. Shalom a lot. Shalom. This is Kazak Banya Howada, First Kings chapter two and verse one. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and shew thyself a man. You see that? Mm. Even on his way out, King David was still emphasizing how important it's going to be for an Israelite man to be a man. Because if the Israelite men aren't men, the rest of the men in the world have nothing to look forward, nothing to fashion themselves after. We're the ones that's been given these, uh, the beautiful instruction, right? The, the beautiful guideline, the rules, the judgments on how, how to be right, how to be good in the sight of the Lord. So if we're not doing it, the rest of the world is going to follow in that same confusion, man. That's what we see. That's what we have here via America, man. Nothing but confusion. 
It says in verse 3, 1 Kings 2 and 3, And keep the charge of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, thy power, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. So you gotta, you gotta keep the first things first, man. You gotta be a man and be a man towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the only way you're gonna be acknowledged. That's the only way you're going to prosper whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Whether whatsoever you put your hand for to do, whatever you, you seek for to, to get or do, man, you're gonna be successful in it. Why? Because you kept the first things first. You did things in order, right? <laughs> the same brother, Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. That's right. You got to wake up out of that dark space, man. You got to come back to life. You got to realize, yeah, the Lord ain't dealing with no nigga that's a simp, that's simpleton, someone that, that is soft to the touch, effeminate. You know, ultimately they're going to get destroyed. Ephesians 5 and verse 15 and 16 it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And that's exactly what we're in, man. Evil as days. Evil as days to where, <laughs> where what? Um, a man can come up to you, say he's a man of the Lord. But at the same time, yeah, man, I've been sliding in these strippers' DMs, yeah, man. Well, go on the fuck up, Jay. Isn't this the same, man, that not too long ago you were outside of the strip clubs saying, y'all need to come out of them strip clubs. You shouldn't be doing that. Who said that? Uh, the deacon of Sakari. Uh, Sakari. Oh. Yeah, they used to have they, they little uh, camps outside of the strip club telling them why they don't need to be in a strip club. And I hear recently you got that clip photo around. He tells so, yeah, man, I've been in these strippers' DMs. Come on, man. Strip club doing the Passover. And then they had, yeah, Passover at a strip club, man. So how are you a man of the Lord? It's, it's, uh, but you still dibbling and dabbling in the world. You know, and when I say that, I'm not saying you can't even, you know, buy you a little box here or there. It's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is a double-minded man. Someone that's saying one thing, but he's doing another thing. Right? You can't say, I'm a man of the Lord, but I'm simping. I just want to simp. Yeah. You can't do it, man. You can't do it. All right? Uh, I'm going to try to run through these fairly quickly. The video is already a lot longer than what I had expected, but uh, we're just going to keep rolling through the spirit. Like I said, the water for these precepts, you brothers are on fire. This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, which is that we live, right? That, that we do the things that are pleasing unto him for our sakes. Because the Lord is not in need of anything. He's not in need of righteousness. He is righteous. He's not in need of long life. He created life. He's not in need of food, water, thirst, or bitches. No, he made all that shit, right? <laughs> he, the Lord said, even what house shall ye build me? For the, the earth and the fullness thereof is mine. So ultimately, the Lord is not in need of anything. What we're doing now is for our sakes. We're the ones that can be destroyed, that can be here one moment and gone the next. So it's going to only benefit us if we hearken, if we do what we've been commanded to do. All right? Knowing what the will of the Lord is. You got something? And the will of the Lord is not to be a sin. No. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's that simple, man. It's, it's literally that simple. And no pun intended. Sim simple. Right. Really, you're simple-minded. But it's, the, the point is simple, man. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, Yahweh, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. So you see that? The Lord likes it when we follow his judgments, when we do as we've been instructed, not when we take pride it matters into our own hands and, and judge based upon our own thoughts, right? Like the scriptures say, what? Um, uh, but Lu Lucy paraphrasing uh, the scripture where it goes into not thinking with thine own mind. Uh, I'm butchering it in my head while I'm trying to gather the words. Um, dang, I don't know why it's slipping me. But it's basically along the same lines of uh, don't judge based upon your own thoughts, right? 
when you when you do like that, that's what causes you to go off. Well, I know if I do this, you know, I can please my woman, and that means I can go home and not have a headache. Uh, uh, Caught that thing again? Uh, again? Uh, oh, is it be not no not be not righteous in thine own eyes? It's uh. Uh, I think it goes into that scripture of the heart is deceitful above all. Uh, yeah, that's things. what I was about to quote. But. but but I know that's not the one I'm literally thinking of. Lord willing, it'll come back to me. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why the words are literally slipping me. But it's that same concept trying to go off of your own heart, man. You're going off. The Lord gave us the judgments that we are to keep. He set the standard. We got to meet it. He created us boys. Now we got to become men, right? <laughs> we got to go from boys to men like that man in the world, man. Boys to men, right? It says, oh, this is GMS, no excuses. Shalom, Ecclesiastes 26 and 2. A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. That's a blessing, man. Mm -hmm. A virtuous woman is a blessing. All right, when you read Proverbs 31, woo, I'm still looking for that woman, you know? <laughs> I'm still looking for her. I know she out there, you know, the Lord and the scriptures mention her. I know she out there, but damn. You know, boy, is she hard to find, you know, but it, believe it or not, it starts with the men getting in order first to set that standard for what type of men we require. Because um, they got that thing where uh, the women try to blame men. Well, the niggas like this. The niggas like when I got my, my hair done, my, 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 my nails, my long ass lashes, my BBL. Niggas like this. But no, niggas like it. But men don't, man. You wonder why you, you 40? With a body count over two thousand, right. and, and and then you just you can't find a good man. And they wonder why. Yeah, you're not choosing men. You choosing little ass dudes, boys, man. Yeah, yeah, just uh, creatures with a rod swinging between their legs, but they don't know how to actually operate as a man. You know, cause hey, you know, and like I said, we we all know these men. They're all in our lives, right? They might be even the people that that you know raised us. Cause you gotta think. If the black woman, the so-called black woman, isn't raising them, then, okay, they have been risen by men. But the fact that we don't have upstanding men out here is because those men were raised by black women they damn so. Or whatever, whatnot. You know, whatever it is. Situation is, the true standard for what a man is to be is not being taught in the house. And that's because the man is not in order his damn self, man. He's not. So it starts in the mind. It starts with your own conduct. Are you truly serving the Lord as he's commanded you to? Or are you going according to your own heart? All right. Uh, verse three, a good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. So you see the men of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai can uh, be the ones to hope to find that virtuous woman. They're the ones that can trust that the Lord is going to manifest a good woman unto them because they did what, what the Lord required of them. They set that standard. And the woman followed because no matter what the woman is going to get in order when the when the men uh set the order no matter what it may be even if it's a wicked man a wicked kingdom whatever order that man sets the women are going to follow yeah. you know so it's the same way it starts with us in the kingdom of heaven the women are going to know even leading up until then right uh isaiah what chapter seven four and one, four and one the water <laughs> Isaiah 401, where it goes into seven women shall take hold on one man. It basically tells you that's going to start now on this side. Them that fear the Lord. The Lord's putting that spirit within us now. So they're going to know when them judgments start to roll out who is, who it actually cleaves to, who has that order, who is being covered in that, in that day, who is receiving the mercy of the Lord. They're going to see it and they're going to cleave. So it starts with the man. Then should they know who my, um, my then yeah. should they know who my prophets are. Yeah. Then prayer. shall it be known who, yeah, who my servants are. That's beautiful, man. Uh, the brother said, y'all brothers got me in a great mood today, man. Thwata, y'all <laughs> on point. Kind of, uh, this not, hey, Thwata, y'all about Shemal yeah. Shah, call all y'all about Shemal Shah, because this has been a, 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 a topic uh, that me and, and a few other brothers in the camp have been kind of discussing for a while now, for various reasons, various situations, but it's definitely a needful conversation. And I even seen uh, was in it the was spirit. I, Jake, yeah, that's literally was. what I was about to say. Yeah. I even seen in the spirit today. And Apostle Ricard did a, a live stream yesterday yeah. or early in it the was day. Seven hours ago. Yeah, well, when I was at work. It was seven hours. Yeah, ago. he did a live stream, and I, I wanted to watch it. I didn't get to it yet. I'm gonna watch it after this. But yeah, man, the Lord got that spirit going out here. That message being pushed because that's what He's requiring of us. Grow the hell up, yeah, man. Yeah. Elder, uh, uh, Elder Ariella from GMS Dallas, he says that all the time. And it hits in the spirit every time he says it, man. Grow the hell up, man. You still doing the same shit? 
You still doing the same shit? Grow the hell up, man. When are you going to grow up? Because that's what the Lord has been waiting on. That's what the Heavenly Father has been waiting on. All right, yeah, I created you a child. But yeah, you're not a child no more. What did the scripture say? When I was a child, I thought I was a child. But loosely paraphrasing, I speak as a child. As as a child but now that I'm a man, I, I put away child, childish man. things. Has that happened yet in your mind, Jay? Have you done that? Has that process taken place? If not, the Lord is not dealing with you. Because that that's the beginning, right? <laughs> Understanding what a true man is. That's who we're looking towards. Yeah, how I? And so if you haven't done that, if you haven't made that transaction in your mind, the spirit is not dealing with you, man. Because that's who we desire to be like. Not the these pussified versions of what a man is thought to be like because of Hollywood and, and whatever the hell. Rap music, black culture. No, we look to Yahweh Shai for the standard. Because not only did he know what the bar was, he set the bar, you know. Yahweh Shai set the bar perfectly. It's our jobs to look to that level and to meet it, man. Because that's what's required of us, all right? Uh, Shalom, brother Lat, 144K, Shalom. Uh, same brother, Kazat Ban Yahawada, Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. And that's right, man. We got many blessings to look forward to if we hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemel and Shai. And it, it, guess what? Yeah, it includes a righteous woman, but it doesn't even stop there, man. The Lord is going to surpass all of our thoughts, man. You know, because, yeah, a virtuous woman sounds like that's the best he can get. We ain't never seen that. Like, damn, Lord, you, you beautiful. But the Lord said he's even going to surpass that, man. <laughs> Imagine seven virtuous women. And then even past that, the Lord, the Lord is cold, man. Uh, same brother, Kazat Ban Yehawadim, Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So you see that? He's going to show you uh, what to say, how to do, right? Where to go, who to dwell with, who to tolerate, and who to get kick the fuck out. Like, Martin, get to stepping. <laughs> you got to have that spirit with certain people because otherwise, they spirit's going to hop on you, right? Uh, like they say in the world, birds of a feather flock together. together. Ain't no simps dwelling amongst sucker. us. Cause, wait, what you say? That make you a sucker. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, like I was about to say, ain't no sim dwelling amongst us because a little leaven, leaven it the whole lump. And, and hey, I pray Baba Kishaw, Lord, never put no spirit of a simp on me. Because even before the truth, I knew what I wasn't going to do for a woman. And I knew what I was going to do for a woman. Jay, and I, a simp has never been in it. Matter of fact, now that you say that, this Zion hit me up. Jay, I barely talked to her. Yeah. She just hit me out of nowhere. Talking about something, can you send me ten dollars? My car ran out of gas. Bitch, <laughs> why, the, why the fuck would you even? I ain't oh. even send the money. I, I ain't even open this shit. Dude. Oh yeah. But my thing is, why the fuck would you drive the car knowing you don't got no fucking gas or knowing you ain't got no money to put gas in the motherfucker? Yeah. But a simple ass nigga would be, oh, I'ma please her. Maybe yeah. she'll give me some pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what they look for. Oh yeah, I can get that. That's the easy lick. You know, that's all Jake concerned with. You know. But uh, we can end it right here with this. I got all the pictures off the comment board. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and I'll read verses 9 through 11. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? And I got to grab this. Because why? Once again, we're, we're showing you the standard of the Heavenly Father set, and we're also showing you those who are not going to meet the requirements, right? The scripture set off rip. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You're not going to get it. Right, meaning you're not going to be delivered on this side to be a part of the first fruits, right? To indulge in it, and why? Let's read it says, Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, mm -hmm. nor effeminate, aka simps, bitch ass nigga, pussy ass nigga, -ass you know, -ass bitch ass, ass. yeah, say it again, right? bitch ass, simp ass niggas. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better than the blood of Big Brother. Right. Yeah, yeah. Put a, a hashtag Fair. on it. <laughs> you simp ass bitch ass niggas. Man. Yeah. The head of the camp said it best, man. Uh, and that word, once again, that word effeminate is in the scriptures. And it said, you are not going to inherit the, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, being effeminate. It says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So that includes the rest of the rainbow community. Because, I, I matter of fact, I'll say that as well. A simp might as well be a part of the rainbow community. Yeah, 
you you off you wicked you just out of order it's confusion right so the scriptures got y'all cards pulled right first corinthians 6 and 10 nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor revilers nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of yahweh basham yahweh shai and such were some of you so you see that some of us were partaking in these things but no longer which means what that change can you seen that those things weren't it <laughs> it's not gonna get you what you think you want mm -hmm. you know you're gonna have your part in that lake which burneth with fire and brimstone and it ain't worth it man because you wanted to simp at all the things that you allowed to hinder you from salvation it was simping <laughs> boy man the lord allah shad you man <laughs> to put a, a spirit on uh, that heavy on you like that to where you'll give up salvation because you want to sent man it's scary scary world we live in man and it's an even fearful god that we serve right it says and such were some of you but ye are washed you got to get baptized man get in these scriptures get get hip to what real men do <laughs> not only for their women but to their women right you had uh miriam she she got struck with leprosy just for speaking mm -hmm. against moses Making making a little jokey joke. She thought right. it was a little jokey joke. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. It's a little jokey joke, right? The Lord struck her with leprosy just for opening her mouth, man. How much more you think the Lord gonna judge you for bowing down to the woman? For making her your head, man. It says, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but you are but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is our light, which is our standard in which we are to look to to hold ourselves to to measure ourselves to it says and by the spirit of our power yahweh right so it's through these scriptures through the holy spirit entering into us that we're converted that we change that we stop doing those things that get us condemned and put to death man only the spirit of the lord is, is going to reveal that to you and make that change and that's how we know for a fact that you are not a real man unless you are a man of yahweh by shem yahweh shah all right you know with that, you got anything else you wanted to add? Say? Yeah, I do got a quick little precept. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable man mm. in the furnace of adversity. Ooh. So you can't call yourself a man of the Lord if, you're not, if you don't want to go through those adversities, man. Yeah. Because, you know, you got a lot of niggas that's, you know, claiming to be in truth. They gonna back out, you know, when shit really start hitting the fan, man. You know, you got a lot of like I always said when I first came in, you know, uh, I used to be like, man, niggas, you know, they think the truth is sweet right now because they ain't, you know, adversity ain't really taking place. When the adversity take place, you still gonna be calling on your how about you shot? You gonna still be saying I'm an Israelite, right? You know, you you got to be a man to be in this truth, especially yeah. coming into especially coming into the times we coming into, man. Because it's gonna take a real man to stand up during the days we coming into, That's man. Because right. yeah. like like the scriptures say in uh, Jeremiah thirty and six, hey, the Lord said He saw a man uh, uh, acting like women. You yeah. know, roughly paraphrasing, yeah. man. Yeah. You niggas gonna be acting like women, man. So it's up to you if you wanna, you know. Prove yourself to be a man of your high body. was trying to stand up for him in these latter days to continue to, you know, push forth his will, man. Even if it came down to, you know, death, man. That's right. Because we're going to have to be mortars at the end of the day, whether you believe it or not, or whether you want to accept it or not. It's going to happen regardless, man. That's right. Wow. The water y'all about Shemel Shai. The brother, that's the precept that I was roughly paraphrasing, I believe. Because uh, Banya Hawada, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. That's what it mm -hmm. was. Yeah, I thought you had. I thought he had read that earlier. I thought you had. Uh, read I that might. Earlier. Maybe that's why it was fresh yeah. on my head. Then uh, it says, um, "In all thy ways, I did read it. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path." Maybe the Lord wanted to come out right. <laughs> twice, cause I don't know why. I read it, and then I'm trying to re-say it. But yeah, that's the spirit, man. You gotta ultimately cast off your own mortal thoughts, as we read earlier, man. Focus on what the will of the Lord is, and that is what you are to do. Brother commented Acts 14 and 22, confer confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Much tribulation. A soft man is not going to be able to endure that. Mm. He's, not, he's not built for it. It's not within him. Because once again, this journey is to draw from within right which i believe i forget which word it is right now it's either learn or when you teach something that one of those words 
when you look at the root word, the etymology of it, it means to draw from within, you know, because ultimately, you know, the Lord. It puts probably got to be learned. Yeah. You're drawing it in. You're drawing the learning in. So it got to be learned. It may be. It may be. It it be, may be. Yeah. So, but it literally goes into to draw from within. The Lord, he, he equips us with everything that we need, even before birth. Like the scriptures say, what? Before. Uh, I formed thee in the womb. I knew thee, mm -hmm. Lucy mm -hmm. paraphrasing, and and I ordained thee to, to be a prophet unto the yeah, nations. Unto the nation, yeah. That was that was put in his spirit before he was born, right? So all those that are going to be able to endure Jacob's trouble and the hour of temptation and, and get crowned by Yahweh Shai, receive that deliverance is because they were built for it, man. They had the spirit of the Lord within them. The Lord was dealing with them from the beginning. So either you got it or you don't. Either the Lord is going to allow you to continue in his faith, being a man, or you're a simp. <laughs> it says, 2 Corinthians, same brother, 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. This is a spiritual thing we're talking about, man. Our faith. For Verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And a simp doesn't understand stuff like that. The hell that we suffer now, the things that, that, that we endure now, is for a greater reward on the next side. Which means we're, we're willing to put off, you know, our emotions and our own selfish thoughts, right? Our own, or that pride, the pride of life, right? We're willing to set that aside for the glory of the Heavenly Father. A man is not going to do that. He will put himself aside for a fucking woman, though. But let it be for, for the Lord or for his brother. To hell with that. Nigga, I don't know you. I don't owe you anything. That's a nigga's mind. You know? But once again, the men of the Lord, we're spiritual. We understand that we're going to suffer for the Lord's name's sake. And even uh, suffer the loss of women and children. Because we're, we're not willing to, to, to lose what we got going on with the Lord for women and children. We can always get them back. The Lord, hey, it's either you got them or you don't. And he, he not... Uh, what I should I say? Wish you like he's not wish you watch. He's not giving a change, man. He's either dealing with you, or he's not. Uh, First Peter four and twelve, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, right? But didn't God give me the woman? Didn't didn't God say the woman is supposed to be with the man? Ain't we supposed to deal with? Ain't you supposed to love? Yeah, you know they didn't have their purpose. But once again, that's they're not in their right order now. You know, you think about all the the females that that people know about the celebrities, you know, look at uh, how how they display a woman to live her life. They most likely shaking their ass somewhere on camera. Somebody done called them. Mm -hmm. They they more than likely done had several partners. You know, you got to see them hop in and out of relationships, or they got multiple baby. Dads. You know, it's it's not the right um, look for for what a woman is supposed to how a woman is supposed to carry herself and how a relationship is supposed to be dealt. And then, too, it's a, a relationships all on social media. How the hell do we know what's going on in your personal life and we never met you in person a day in our life? Mm. Y'all doing too much, man. Once again, all that comes from this world. And it's a fiery trial, right, dealing with the women on this side. It's to try your faith. Are you, are you, you know, willing to give up comforts and pleasure and, to endure and suffer with the righteous or not? The Lord's going to manifest that by... Uh, who he puts his spirit on to do those things, man. Finishing the verse, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. That's right. If, verse 14, if ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. Why? Because they see that we're not changing. The doctrine don't change just because, you know, our feelings get hurt. Just because we might get cut from a precept, you know, you know, whatever the situation may be. The, the Lord's will does not change. Right, so when they see how stiff we are standing for the name of the Lord and for His Word, they're gonna see that hey, there's something different about y'all. We may not mm -hmm. agree, we might not fully like y'all, you know, but we we can say that y'all are some upstanding men. That y'all 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 are standing for something like this anywhere. You'll stand for something, so you, you won't fall for anything. We can see that y'all truly believe in that. 
You know, I remember I've had my own family members tell me, you know, I don't understand what it is that you're a part of, but I'm glad to see that you, you know, standing for something that you believe in. You know, and I'm still thinking, well, you're you're just fucking confounded. But I still took the grain of salt that that he was giving me. Like he seen how much of a man I had become. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I took it. Many people can't say that. Uh, same brother, Kazat Bun Yehuda, Ecclesiastes one and fourteen. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the same scripture we kept roughly paraphrasing earlier. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Mm. See, you were you were built for this. <laughs> you were womb. created for it. The Lord prepares you to, to endure having his faith, having his fear. The Lord is dealing with us, brothers. Right? It's a, it's a special thing. You know, <laughs> once again, call all y'all by Shemel Shai that the Lord decided to put upon us his spirit. Because we could have just as easily been these simps, you know, because I can't lie. There are some very attractive women out here in this world that are folly, <laughs> very attractive. But the Lord still gave us the spirit of discipline on how to conduct ourselves, how to go about situations with wisdom. They don't have that. They are here looking up to Tyrone and, 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 and whoever the fuck, man. And they getting led astray to get destroyed. Uh, Ecclesiastes 25 and 19, same brother. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And that's exactly what's coming. The Lord has great judgment set up for all you wicked women who are out of order, lacking faith, not being obedient to your husbands and or fathers, right? Choosing to, to, to do your own will and seek your own sexual pleasures. There's hella judgment set up for you. And the, the, most, the most brutal one is that thermonuclear fire, man. You know, but even before that, you got to emphasize you women are going to feel Jacob's trouble some of the most, man. Why y'all here without men to, to cover you and to be your 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 uh, shelter for protection? you are going to be out here catching straight hell, man. Getting, uh, you know, who knows what? I was about to go into detail, but who knows what, man? Just brutal, merciless judgments the Lord got set up for you women to, to suffer, man. At the hands of strangers, <laughs> right? <laughs> it says, Ecclesiastes, oh, wait, Psalms 12 and 6, same brother. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. So there's nothing wrong with what we're saying. The Lord said, yeah, this is my word and I meant it. This is exactly what, what I want my son, my sons to do. They're going to do it, right? The words, the words of the Lord are pure. So <laughs> once again, it might sound harsh. Shut the fuck up. It might sound harsh. Get in order. You're not my head, right? It might sound harsh. You're going to get put to death. But yet still, that's the fact of the matter. That's how, that is how the Lord deals, right? Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is as, a, who is as the wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed. So you see that wisdom se separates real men from simps, man. The spirit of the Lord magnifies those whom he's dealing with and, 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 uh, what is the word? Not a base, but, and, and the Lord, uh, sets low or humbles those who, who he, matter of fact, you know, I'll even say it like this, the Lord will make your face to shine and he will exhaust you in, in due time with the wisdom he bestows upon you. But the Lord will bring a prideful, wicked, sinful, rebellious that spirit low to destruction, man. You know, cause why? You're not putting the first things first, you know, and this once again, this is really only to the Israelites But all you other nations you other heathen that may watch these videos. Hey, you can learn from this, too Yeah, you're not the Lord not dealing with you for salvation But try some of the things that we're teaching and encouraging the people to do and watch how easier off and better off your life would be all right First Kings chapter 10 and verse 8 and we gonna wrap it up with these, with these last few scriptures for first Kings 10 and 8 happy are Thy men, happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord, Yahweh loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king to do judgment and justice. Right? And now speaking to who? David. The Lord set him up, chose him to, to be the king. Why? Because... David understood what a real man is supposed to be like, what it takes to be a real man after the Heavenly Father's own heart. Once again, rounding back to the topic and the title of this lesson, 
You are not a real man unless you are a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, a man of the Lord. Right? Same brother Micah 10 and Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. Then shall then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, right? You women are gonna catch hell in Jacob's trouble, man. You know, saying, I don't need a man. <laughs> I can do bad all by myself. That Taraji P. Henson spirit. <laughs> We're the Zion at the job with that hair. Said she look like Taraji P. Henson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she got that Taraji P. Henson <laughs> spirit. I can do bad all by myself. I don't need no man. It's okay. You can keep thinking that. The Lord is going to destroy you exact same spirits, man. And you niggas that are behind them clapping on, cheering them on. Yeah. yeah. Go, girl. That's my shit. That's how, that's how my woman's supposed to be. No, man. No. You absolutely lost. That, that spirit of uh, that city girl spirit. All that shit got to go, man. You know? That's mentality that's pushed on our people. And matter of fact, look. We, we can end it right here on this note. All right? Same brother, Kazat Banyahu with the Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going, right? Prudent meaning circumspect and, and sound in judgment. He knows what's going on around him, and he's considering his future end. What can my end be for the things that are that I'm currently take, taking place in now? What From what I'm doing now, you know, what are the judgments for what I'm doing? You know, a prudent man looks well to his going, you know? So that's the, the mentality that we are to be in this truth as prudent men, right? Wise men, sound in judgment, fearing Yahweh Bashem Shai, right? Daily even repenting, because even though you might not uh, fall short being a simp, you're gonna fall short somewhere else that we've also been uh, commanded to uphold, you know, our, ourselves and, and show ourselves, man. So, you know, don't don't take this as, you know, well, shit, I'm good, you know, I ain't no simp, so I know the Lord dealing with me. Nah, we all got shit to work out, you know, and shit to fix. The whole point is doing this thing in sincerity and in the 100% truth, man. You know, once again, knowing you are not a real man unless you are a man of the Lord. All right? Yeah, and another thing, too. Like I said, the simple believer and word. Jake be believing these women words just because Eve say you, you you look good. Now you're going to send her $10. She probably lying to your damn man. Just get some money out of you, man. Yeah. So don't believe every word these women say to you as well, man. Yeah. Have your ass sipping out here like that just because they said a little, you cute, or yes. you know what I'm saying? Something yes. like that, a little petty little shit like that, man. Yes. The woman is very deceptive, man. A lot more deceptive than we give them credit for. A lot more deceptive, right? Shit, damn, about worse than Esau. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, take right after them. I mean, they yeah. learn from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take, take right after them. And they know, because they operate off emotions, they know how to manipulate your emotions. Oh, yeah, man. They know how to do it, right? But, you know, that was that was really it, man. Like I said, this it did kind of go a little bit longer than what we had initially intended. But, hey, everything happens according to the Lord's will. Abarat is our Lord willing. This was edifying to the sincere, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And, in fact, let me see which way to east Yep, yeah, that's right. All right, so we're going to uh, end it by turning and facing the east towards Jerusalem and by giving all praise and infinite honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah Kodash. Wa abad baba, death to the wicked.